Hola, buenas tardes, good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, and I am getting messy with my planner supplies over here tonight. Um, I just got really inspired to switch up how my work planner is organized and I thought it would be fun to take you along with me on this slightly messy, slightly chaotic planner setup video. Um, I just I have some ideas for what I want to do in my work planner so if you're interested in seeing that just keep on watching. So my work planner right now is this Happy Planner um, Hello 2022 Franken Planner. Um, I used to have this huge mega planner. I had eight different Happy Planners combined, squished, hybridized into this one huge mega planner. And that was fine and good for a while. And then um, last month I decided to switch it up and I took out a couple of planners. I split up that big planner into several different planners. Um, some of them Franken planned, some not. And I kept all of my work, more of my work related stuff um, here in this planner. I have five different planners combined into this one planner right now. And I left a lot of like the um, beginner pages, like the year at a glance, my New Year's resolution vision board, my sticky note dashboard, my boss bitch morning routine, my bedtime routine, my sleep logs, uh, my whiteboard dashboard. I left all that stuff in here because I just like having those tools with me, those spreads with me to kind of like motivate me, inspire me. Um, yeah, and help me stay organized. And then I also had my main work planner in here. This is um, a vertical planner I use for my graduate research. It's the, uh, I think it's the, it's the Mickey Oasis collection. It's super cute, really nice planner. And so I had that as my first planner. And then for my second planner, I had this a color block um, planner that I was using for like teaching and my uh, my part time in um, in administration at the university. So I had all that there, and I also had a third planner in here that was like my science communication work and my outreach work, my community service work. I was using an undated vertical. Um, planner from one of their Mickey Mouse collections and I had that there and those were my major like three major work planners and my fourth planner in here was my YouTube planner which isn't work related but it's something that I've been wanting to kind of um, prioritize and so I wanted to have it here with all my work stuff um, you know just to have it close at hand and to keep myself you know, organized and on top of that. And so I had that there. And then my last planner was uh, my current events planner. So I just have some accessories in there. My current events planner. This is, uh, this was a lined vertical colorful leopard planner from the Happy Planner. And I was using this as a place to journal about current events and, um, uh, articles I've read and honestly I have been so busy I haven't really been writing in here and also I've been talking about how I want to phase this planner out because I got it for a particular reason and that was to help me inspire myself to read articles stay informed and to build in me the habit of continuously like staying informed, listening to the news, reading articles, and I feel like I built that habit and that now I have solidified that habit within my daily routine, but I don't necessarily feel the urge to take notes anymore of all the articles I've read. It's enough that I read them and so, and sometimes I will maybe make a note of it, but I'll put that into, um, I'll have like, I'll be able to put that into any other of my planners. I don't necessarily need a whole 
planner for it. It was fun while I had it, but I'm ready to move on and graduate from this planner because it has served its purpose. It is, it did, you know, help me build that habit of reading articles and staying informed. So I'm happy with it. I also want to take out um, this section here. This is my uh, my YouTube section, and I'm I want to take it out. For this one, I was using a Miss Maker checklist style uh, planner, and that one was awesome. That was a it's a great. Um, but I'm gonna take out these Kudatama posters right now. But yeah, I really like this checklist style of planner. And uh, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. But I'm going to take out my YouTube stuff because I just don't like it being with my work stuff. I, you know, I wanted to combine it with my work stuff so that I could, you know, have it front and center and prioritize my YouTube stuff. But I still want that separation between my work stuff and my fun stuff. And I don't want to treat it like a job and so I kind of want to separate it out um, so I'm thinking of taking that out and just keeping work stuff in here and then for this planner my Mickey Mouse planner so this is my science communication and outreach work my community service work and I think right now with how um, what's going on with my life right now I don't need a whole entire planner to uh, outreach work and science communication it is still a big part of my life and I've al I have always want to be involved in science comm and um, community service and outreach but I think I can combine it into my two other uh, like work planners and not have it be its own planner because I don't think um, like I don't think I need a whole planner to do to keep track of all the things that I'm keeping track of in this. Uh, this is about as full as it gets, and I will do ha I do have some things that I will uh, make a note of here, but as you can see, it's kind of empty. I don't need to, f I, I, can't, I can't, I don't really fill up the entire spread. And so I'm thinking that I can just consolidate that planner with, um, with the with with the other two previous planners with my work planners i can like fit them in somehow so um i also am thinking of doing a big switch up here i kind of am thinking of taking out um the mickey vertical and for graduate school and switching switching it up so that uh that I'm using this color block doodles for graduate school. So right now, this, like I said, this colorful doodles um, planner is like my higher education, teaching, and administrative work. And I'm thinking of changing that up. So I think I'm gonna, um, let me pop this guy in here. Um, and then I'll put in my Gutama poster. So I'm thinking of, um, let me paper clip this. So, <laughs> sorry, this could, this is a little bit chaotic, but so now I'm gonna switch this higher education planner um, to be to be my graduate work. And the reason I wanna do that is because I just wanna try out the color block for graduate my graduate work and see how I like it. Uh, I just wanna change it up. So we only have one month left in April. And so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna start it off here. So let me pop in a bookmark. Um, let's see, my, here it is. So this is going to be my science research uh, bookmark and section. And I actually am thinking of adding in three, um, let's start with just one month. I'm thinking of adding in the following month. So the month of May here. Oh, pretty. 
I kind of want to start adding in like two months at a time or even three months at a time in my planners because I feel like I do kind of want at least one more month um, in my planner because there's so many times that I have events come up for the following month and I don't really have the space to write it down because I usually just have one month at a time in my planner. But if I decrease the number of planners I have, then I can increase the amount of each planner I have in here. So we'll go into May um, with the color block and we'll see how I like that for um, for my graduate work. And we could even, I don't know, maybe with June, should we just go ahead and, I don't know. I was gonna add in the month of June here, but it might be that I wanna change up my style in June. Like I'll commit to the color block in May, but I don't wanna commit to the color block in June. I might add in um, another month from another planner at that point and then see how I like that. So yeah, let's slide in one of these Gudetama posters to split up um, that, that section. And then I want to now introduce um, a planner for my higher education work because I just took that doodle, that colorful doodle planner away from my from that section. So now I need to find one. I guess I could use um, this Mickey Mouse uh, vertical, but I kind of don't want to use. Um, a vertical for this work. I kind of want to experiment with using a dashboard for this section. So I'm going to pull for a dashboard planner. Okay, so this is the beauty of having multiple planners and a bunch of like extra planners. So I recently got this planner. This is like the Zodiac planner at Michael's. It was like 95% off. I got it for around $3 because all of the 2022 planners are like on mega clearance right now. So um, now that I have this baby, I can easily grab um, the last week in April. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy. And I'm also just gonna commit to a dashboard in May, so. Now I have a the month of May in a dashboard and I can pop these pages into here. Paper clip this guy. So let me grab my paper clips. Slide this baby on. And then now I have that. A really neutral monthly overview. You can slide in the month of May here. I'm interested to see how I'm gonna work with the dashboard in this particular um, uh, planner because I have never used a dashboard for my teaching work. So we shall see how that is going to pan out. I might hate it. I might not. So with this dashboard, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to combine my teaching work, my administrative work, and my science communication and outreach work into this planner. So three different things are going to go into here, but it's going to be one planner. And I only am going to do like my science research in this color block. So there we go, now we have um, two planners in here. And this is a little bit thin and I like having the rings kind of, um, kind of filled out. So I think I am going to go ahead and add in one more month, um, the month of June into this, uh, oh, this is, shouldn't be paper clipped. 
I'm gonna add in just uh, one more month for both of these planners because I think I'm only gonna keep those two planners in here. I'm not gonna add anything else. So let's add in June. And I might change this up in in June. I might decide that I don't like the color block and change it up for something else. But for now, I'm just gonna add in those pages um, just to just to see um, just to like fill out the rings. So I'll do the same thing with um, the second section. I'll pull for the month of June here. Pull this out. This is Gemini. Gemini season. Pop this in. And I think that's it. I think we are good. Ugh, I love the July divider for that one. So uh, there we go. Now the rings are a little bit more filled out. And I think the last thing that I want to do is I'm thinking of adding in some pages here from this planner. This is the Hustle Hard Hourly Planner. And I've always loved having like a schedule. So I was thinking of using these pages just to set up my schedule. And yeah, I'm just having it that, I'm just having these pages in um, in my planner. So I think I'm only going to add in one month for now to see how I like having the hourly in here like this. And I might, I might put this in the front. Yeah, I might put this in the front. Oh, and then pop these pages in here. So there we go. And I can add a Gudetama divider here. And, um, I might even glue these pages together. Um, like I don't feel like I need to paper clip them because I don't really care to, you know, preserve these pages too much. So they're just gonna be like daily sheets for me that I can just toss. I'm not trying to like hold on to them. Honestly, I'm not trying to hold on to the vast majority of my planner pages. Like for me, it's really nice to decorate them and, and make them look nice, but I don't want to hold on to them for too long unless I really, really want to and I really like them. But for the most part, I'm trying to just like use planners really functionally and use stickers and like nice decorative accents to motivate me to use it and to complete my tasks and you know stay on top of things but it really isn't like a means onto itself um and i don't mind like tossing my planner pages actually i don't really i don't toss them i actually burn my planner pages i like making fires in my fireplace and paper is a really good like um good material to like start fires it's a good fire starting material and so I'll like collect like loads of planner paper of just like paper I don't am, I'm not interested in holding on to and keeping and I just burn it in my fireplace so there we go we have my um, my weekly schedule and I can just flip to this and work on it so let me actually pop in a bookmark. Well, I'm just gonna leave the uh, the tab there. I know what this means. Headlines. I'll just remember that headlines is my daily or my hourly. Um. Okay. So there we go. The month of May. I'll, I'll leave that in there. So we got an hourly. My first planner. 
then the second month, the month of June. And I'm not going to put in July because in July we're going to start the new planner system, which I am so excited to get into. So there's that. And then for uh, my second, I guess technically my third planner in here, if you count my hourly planner as like a planner, but that one's more to organize my time than it is to like plan things. Although that, so now, all right, so then we get to the third, you know what, honestly, I feel like I'm into just like gluing things down now like I'm just gonna ignore the paper clips this time around and just glue things same with this let's just glue things and then use undo to unstick things uh, let's see April okay so got the month of June in here because the paper clips can be a little bit bulky so let's just change it up this month and see how I like it. So, okay, we have the dashboard, May and June. And I think that is, that's great. Okay. And for this folder, I'm going to take out this little uh, worksheet there. Um, and I'm going to leave my folder in here. Maybe I'll put it in between here and I'm just gonna leave these stickers in here for now and I think that's it is there anything else I'm gonna add the sticker sheet of floral stickers wow I forgot to add this Easter sticker. Let's see. Mm. Let me add this Easter. Cute. Okay. And I'm just going to add one more sticker pack here in the back, just full of some random stickers there. And I think we're going to call it good. This is going to be my new planner setup. We'll see how I like it. I, so far, I, I like it. I do. Um, it's a good size. It's not too fat, not too skinny. We have my cover page, my table of contents, which ah, is no longer correct because I have a, um, combined a lot of these and gotten rid of some. So that might be due for an update. We have my year at a glance, my yearly calendar, my New Year's resolution vision board. Oh, uh, my bucket list, which I am kind of still like on the fence about. Well, honestly, you know what? I kind of want to cover it up. I kind of want to cover this up it's not really like inspiring me. It's kind of just like a dead space. I want to do something here, but maybe some other video. My sticky note dashboard, love it. Boss bitch morning routine, a bedtime routine, a sleep tracker, which I want to update and start over again because, well, you know what? Let me just take this out right now. It's not really going anywhere for me. Um, I set it up. I had a lot of fun setting up, but then I totally like missed a bunch of days and now I just don't really feel like returning to it. I'm going to take a pause on tracking sleep to this detail for a bit. Um, I did it for months and I feel like I kind of gotten the information I want to get from tracking sleep from that. So we're going to take that out for now. Um, and then we have my whiteboard dashboard, which I really like. My first Gudetama poster, it's gonna go right into my hourly um, planner, which, uh, let's see, I have two months for, well, I have like the last week of April and then May. Probably not gonna use 
the monthly calendar or these pages or will I maybe I'll use these these pages it would be fun to kind of do like a monthly reflection for everything yeah I might we'll see and then let's see we have my second Gurutama divider and then my April, which is going to be my science research right now. I mean, all these spreads are for my like teaching work, but we're going to switch that up. So science research is going to start here. That's going to be exciting. I've never used the color block for this, so I'm excited to see how that turns out. And then we have the month of May. I think I'll commit to the color block um, for May. We'll see. June is another story. I might not commit for June, but we'll have that there. Just some stickers, a folder with some bee stickers, and this is just a good little place I can tuck things into. And then, oh, it kind of came apart there. And then we have my second Gudetama poster glued to this back here. This is going to be my... Um, teaching and administrative work, community service work, science outreach work, um, and we're going to be using a dashboard for this. It's something that I have not used before for this work, so I'm excited to get into it. So we have just the month of May here, really neutral. We have June and then some stickers and that's it. That is my entire work planner. I am really excited. Um, definitely pared it down. F definitely feeling the, 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 the need and the energy to like minimalize as much as I can possibly do so. This is still very much like a lot going on here, but you know, I used to have 17 different planners, so I feel like this is like not that complicated, but you know, it's still kind of, um, it's still kind of a lot, but it's very experimental. I love playing around with my organizational styles and techniques and just constantly updating my planner system to reflect my needs, wants, and desires. So now I have three planners in here. One is an hourly, one is um, a dashboard and one is a color block and now I have two months for each planner in here except for the hourly. I only have one month in there for that. And wait, you know what? Might as well just add the second month, right? So that way I just have two months for everything. So I couldn't add June in here. So let me pull for June. And this is another planner I got for three dollars at michael's it was three dollars i was so shocked so let me add that in here now we have six months in here for three different planners and i like her i like how she feels not too thick not too thin all right and that is it we are done let me know uh, if you're changing up your planner system and if so uh, you know what direction are you taking your planner in um, what planners are you going to move into for the month of July? I would love to know. I'm already like looking forward to July so that I can get into my new planner system. Super excited for that. All right, everyone. Take care and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.